It's uh, Exion and me, Cecilia, and we are here today to talk to you about Zach Baggins' haunted mansion in Las Vegas. This video is a little bit different because we were not allowed to shoot video inside of the, the mansion. So we're going to talk about it. There were a lot of creepy things, but I don't want to say everything that's in it because I don't want to spoil the experience. Tell me about your experience with the uh, ghost and the macabre. And the what? The macabre. I have no experience with any ghosts. I actually don't like ghosts. How about you? So my experience with ghosts is six years ago, I started doing ghost hunting uh, and with a group. Started with a small group and the group got bigger and bigger. Uh, we did EVP sessions, we would go to really haunted places like abandoned hospitals and graveyards and uh, orange groves where people were buried. Uh, Zach Baggins, he did, uh, he's the host of Ghost Adventures and that's a show that um, I'm very familiar with. Never heard of it. Ghost Adventures is pretty much um, Zach Baggins and a team of videographers will go into a house and then they uh, look for ghosts. So. He is the perfect person to come up with a haunted museum. There were a lot of artifacts that were creepy, I guess, to look at, or interesting to look at. Yeah, as soon as you walk in there, you notice the house is really dark and spooky. There's a room filled with dolls and puppets. Well, I think the house reminds you of haunted house from Disneyland, don't you think? Yeah, like the haunted mansion. The right? haunted mansion. House. Yeah. But you know what makes this house unique is that there was uh, actual satanic rituals that was done in the basement of this house. So there's a lot of spiritual activity at this location. And uh, some of the employees have mentioned that they, they've had sightings of ghosts and uh, things like that. In our visit, we didn't see that. Yeah. But in every room, you see cameras everywhere. So I guess they put it up there just in case something happens and they can see it, I guess. Right. Yeah, they do have some uh, captured footage of one of the uh, the visitors that came by and, and fainted. So yeah, there was some really historical artifacts there, like uh, Dr. Kovorkian's van. And what I thought was really cool about it is that when you walk in there, it's playing this music. And Dr. Kovorkian is a musician. And the music they were playing was the music that his patients were listening to right before they died. So they have his van there and, and the setup and everything, just like he did it. Well, that's just one thing, because th this house looks kind of small from the outside, but it's pretty big. There's there's like over 30 rooms yeah. that we explore. So I think there's two entrance fees that you can pay, the regular one, where you get to see 30 rooms, and if you upgrade to the RIP, then you get to see six extra rooms, especially for you to take a look. Yeah. Is it the VIP or RIP? RIP. RIP, yeah. rest in peace. They have a lanyard with a coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think when you enter the house, they ask you if you want to upgrade or not because they want to sell you that RIP version because you get to see extra stuff. And I think you get a t shirt at the end yeah. as well. You get a special t shirt at the end, Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. They also get a chance to go down to the basement where they do the, uh, the satanic rituals. And even their own staff don't want to even go there because it's creepy. Yeah, they get to crawl under tunnels and see all kinds of things. But I don't know. I can't say because I, we didn't do it. Uh, but I didn't want to do it because <laughs> 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 it was so crazy. What was the scariest thing there mm, to you? The Divic box. I don't think I even wanted to go into the room. Yeah, the Divic box, what it is, it's a, a wine box that, and it has a history of being passed down and um, some of the people that have been near it have uh, committed suicide. So there's some death involved um, when people are around it. Yeah, there's people that, that have passed away uh, that have been around that box. Zach Baggins and Post Malone actually had a, some kind of reaction when they were near the Divic box, when they were all by themselves in the middle of the night. So I think they said that Post Malone thought that he was cursed because then a series of events happened afterwards where he crashed his car, I think. No, his plane tires blew out. And then, yeah, his, he was in a car accident. And then his former house was robbed. So... Yeah, I guess that a lot of bad things started happening to him after that. When we went, there was a big glass box and salt and sage and all that stuff all around the, the divot box. So, no need to fear. I don't know because I never went inside. So usually when they put you in the room, they describe what you're going to see 
if you're too scared to do it, then they just ask you to stay in that room and then the rest can go inside. Yeah. So you opted to、uh, stay outside. It was too creepy. There are three good reasons why you should visit Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. One, the authenticity. A lot of the artifacts in there w a s authentic. Yeah, so they have the ashes of Charles Manson. They have some artifacts from the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, and some stuff from Ted Bundy. They had Ted Bundy's kill kit. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, so number one, authenticity. Number two, you'll learn a lot of history. So it is a museum. You'll learn a lot about like, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So they actually have some stuff from the, the guy that inspired the movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's a very high quality set. They had someone that was involved in American Horror Story. He came and decorated that room. So it looks like a movie set, like you're actually in the barn.、Um, and then there's a cauldron in the center of the room. Where did the guy that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre he actually cooked people in it?、Mm. So, yeah, and the last reason is that the thrill.、Mm. The thrill, that's the best reason. You want to go to this place because you want to get a thrill. So, when we went to Vegas, we visited very awesome things. So, we went to see typical touristy stuff. Yeah, we went to go see a magic show. We got to do a helicopter tour over Vegas. And we also got to go to Meow Wolf Omega Mart. Those were pretty awesome. But I would highly recommend going to Zach Baggins Museum.、Mm-hmm. Out of a 10, what would you give it? With 10 being the best? An 8. That's pretty good. An 8. Because I'm scared of stuff, but you know, just to look at artifacts and stories, it's actually not bad. Yeah, you get to learn a lot of stuff. And I think they said that some of the props change from time to time, isn't it? Yeah, they、so. do change some of the rooms around. But yeah, I would probably give this like a good 9 out of 10. I don't know, actually, I thought that was the best thing we did in Vegas. Well, because you like stuff like that. Yeah, I do. I thought it was really interesting. And expect to stay there for about two and a half hours. If you have any more questions,、uh, type it down in the, the comments below and、uh, we'll do our best to answer. We're not going to say what the price is because the price can change constantly. But yeah. Well, you've got to buy the tickets online because、mm-hmm. you can't just buy them at the door. Yes, that's right. We tried to buy it at the door and they wouldn't let us through. So you, you have to actually、yeah. have an appointment. There are set times because I think they only let a certain amount of people in a tour because it's small and tight places. So they have to control the crowd. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's it.、Uh-huh. Okay. Bye bye. And, a, friend and a friend of his is a, is a singer. Singer.、Um, oh, oh, it's a kitty. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. Do us a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Bye bye. I'll see you next time.